Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select these cells here and add in the filter buttons, and then I will filter out all of the blank cells. Then I will do equals count and select the cell next to it, and then type in a colon, and this will automatically put in the same cell reference a second time. And then I will close brackets and then select the first cell reference and press F4 to put in the dollar signs to make this an absolute cell reference. So now this cell reference will stay the same when I drag the formula down, but the second cell reference is still a relative cell reference, so that will change as I drag the formula down, which means the range will expand. And this means when I drag the formula down, the numbers will increase by one each time. Now, when I remove the filter, you can see that it has not numbered any of the blank cells. For the next method, I will do equals count again and select the cell next to it and then type in colon to get a second copy of the same cell reference. Then I will type the dollar sign in here, so it will continue looking in the same row in the first cell reference when I drag the formula down, but the second cell reference is a relative cell reference, so it will change, and so the range will expand. So when I drag this down, here the formula has expanded to these two cells, and I get the number two. And then here it has expanded to these three cells, but this one is blank, so I still get the number two. And then here it is expanded to four cells, with one of them being blank, so I get the number three. And this means I get repeating numbers whenever there are blank cells. But I can hide these by using the if formula. And I will say if this cell here is equal to two quotation marks with nothing in between them, and this represents a blank cell. So I will say if this is blank, then I want it to show me a blank, and if not, show me the count, and close brackets and enter. And then when I drag this formula down, it removes all of the repeating numbers. Now, if I copy this here, this formula is not going to work because all of these are text and the count formula does not count text. So to get this to work, we have to add an A in here to change it to the count A formula, which counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So this will include the text. And when I drag this formula down, we then get back to the numbers that we want. Then if I copy this formula in here, it is not going to work because now instead of having blank cells, we have missing comments, so we get the numbers repeating again. In order to fix this, we need to change the first part of the formula, and I'm going to type in is number, and then select the cell next to it. And is number will give us either a true or a false, depending on whether there is a number there or not. Which means that I now need to swap round these two parts of the formula. So if it is a number, I want it to show me the count, and if not, I want it to show me a blank cell. And then when I send this formula down, it removes all of the repeating numbers next to the missing comments. For the next method, I will type in equals max and then select the cell above. Then type in a colon to get the same cell reference again. And then we will turn the first cell reference into an absolute cell reference. So the range will expand when the formula goes down. And then we will add one onto the end of this. So when I drag this formula down, it counts up by one each time because the range is expanding each time. So here, for example, it's finding the maximum number in this range, which is the number four, and then it's adding one to it. So I end up with the number five. 
Now we need to add an if formula around this. So we'll say if this cell here is equal to a blank, then I want it to show me a blank cell. And if not, then show me the results of the max formula. And then close brackets and enter. And then I will send this formula down again. And we end up back to the numbers that we want. So here, for example, it's finding the maximum number in this range, which is the number 10. And then it is adding one to that. So we get the number 11. Then for the next method, I will do equals count again, and I will select the cell above it and then type in a colon to get the same cell reference, and then turn the first cell reference into an absolute cell reference, so the range will expand, and then we will add one onto the end of this. And we get the same results as we did with the max formula, with the numbers counting up by one each time. Then we need to put this inside of the same if formula. So I will say if this cell is equal to a blank, then I want it to show me a blank. And if not, show me the results of the count formula and close brackets and enter. And then we will send this formula down and we end up getting the same results. Now for the last two formulas, if you delete the numbers here, then everything below it will update. But this is not the case for the other formulas. The reverse will work. So if you delete one of the values, then everything will update. And then you can also add in values. So if I add in values here, all of the numbers below them will update, but it doesn't work quite right in the first formula. All the numbers below it will increase, but I don't get the number five here because there's no formula in this cell to be updated. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to number values with gaps in Excel, and that is everything.